Thandos was the original goal that we set ourselves in our group Iron Man series. Now that obviously wasn't the end point, it was just our first big goal. After getting absolutely demolished there, we decided to step back, get some upgrades, and then come back with the Vengeance, and that's exactly what we plan on doing in this video. The gear setup has improved quite a bit since the last time we were there. I am now sporting full Guthans that I'm going to be taking with me for healing, a Black Day head body instead of the torso so I don't get absolutely destroyed by the Mage minion, we have Furies, we have Fire Capes. I'm not sure if I'm going to be using the Staff of the Dead or the Zami Hosta, we haven't really decided that. We have B-Rings, we have Barrow's Gloves, and on top of that, I also have 82 Magic now, which, and just way higher melee stats, <laughs> all of which should benefit us a lot. Now, this is not going to be anywhere near as easy as Zami God Wars, because we don't have the Arc Lights and we don't have Slayer Tasks, and Banos is known to put out a pretty decent amount of damage. I'd be happy if we're even able to get 3-5 to five kill trips, but our goal is to get one item from every God Wars boss, and we still have to do Bandos as well as the other ones, so let's hope we get a good item. And with all that being said, the only thing left to do is Herbruns and Agility. I know that sounds <laughs> really, really random and out of left field, but I need to keep doing this. Shelby isn't ready to go to Bandos just yet, as we haven't synced up our schedules, and I need to work on getting stats for future big quests like Dragon Slayer 2, and agility for other grinds. Well, like I said, I'm going to be working on AFKing requirements for Dragon Slayer 2 in the background time between doing bossing, and one of those requirements is actually 68 mining. Now, I know stars are actually just terrible XP, but I figured, hey, the Stardust is going to be useful in case I need more soft clay or maybe want to buy some of the other stuff from the store. So, I self scouted this one and one other one, though the other one has already been ruined by one of those toxic blight CCs that just sends 5,000 people to a star once they find it, so hopefully no one comes to this one. Well, someone blew the whistle and 8,000 people showed up, so it was fun while it lasted. I did get almost 1,200 Stardust. I probably would have had close to 2,000 from this if all these people didn't come, but uh, still, not bad. Almost got up to 59 mining. Well, there it is, 798 laps later, and I'm going to have to do so many more. Level 70 Agility. Of course, this is needed for about 8 trillion things, not limited to the Taverly Dungeon shortcut, and of course, Sardom and God Wars, which is going to be something we do in the not-so-distant future. However, I am not actually done with agility. I need 6 more levels for the Zolra shortcut in the future, so, uh, gotta keep working on that. Okay, I have been here for, like, a while. Like, a while. That is 73 agility, which might seem somewhat random, and it kind of is. But I thought about it, and one, I just want to take a break from agility. I might come back and actually get all the way to 76, but I can just use an agility potion, and those are really not too hard to come by, especially considering we have an absolute ass load of toad flag seeds. So I'm not too worried about that, and I guess I'll move on to one of the other skill grinds while we are still preparing for bandos. One of the really nice benefits of this grind is that I now have the ability to get full graceful. All it took was nearly 1,500 total, and killing a few God Wars bosses, but this is going to be so nice for running around the game, questing, just everything. I am very happy to have this. So it's time to spend an absolute ton of money buying gold ore. I need to get 70 smithing for Dragon Slayer 2, and having the ability to boost up to make adamant bolts wouldn't be that bad either if we can get our hands on some adamant ore. So might as well get the level now. Also, by the way, if you guys are enjoying this video so far, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already subscribed. I'm still trying to hit 100k by the end of the year, so it'd be very appreciated. Well, I didn't buy all of the ore that I need, but I figure I might as well get to level 60 first so I don't have to pay the stupid foreman's fee. And I might try out a slightly different method after that. Also, dude, I have no stamps. This is gonna suck. Well, halfway there, that is level 55. And there's level 60. I, I mean, I was going to say something else here, but I mean, that's that's really it. Ooh, level 60. Banked some of the mithril bars that I created while going for 60 smithing and made them into dart tips, which just got me a level 60 fletching. I think I want to try a bit of a different method. It's kind of similar to the UIM method when I go back to Blast Furnace. But for now, it's time to head over to Bandos. All right, here we are back at the boss that gave us so much grief when we tried rushing it early in. We have better stats, better gear, and we'd both be really happy to be able to get like 10 to 12 kills per hour. And that's a pretty modest goal. It's still kind of slow, but it's a pretty modest goal. We obviously would really like to be able to get an item, but if our luck is 
pretty bad here. We're probably going to cap off at some point. We don't really know what that number is. It's basically just if we start to get really, really bored and really, really annoyed. Kind of owning me. He's dragging me out. Like, how's he doing that? Uh, what? Dude, I was under him for two. two I, I, I ate two pieces actually, of Actually, I still have the dead spec on, I believe. Oh, shit. Yeah, let's test it out. Test it. You got room plate legs on. But yeah, there you go. Hey, only a 20. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, I should put range on. Oh, yeah. okay. Hey, that actually went. Ow, 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 pain. <laughs> Pain, First kill. pain, pain, pain. I got an elite! <laughs> <laughs> what is this game, dude? I swear to God. I love it. Also, we both just realized that uh, I forgot to make Bones to Peaches tabs. I remembered the Trollheim tabs and everything. Bones to Peaches tabs, I did forget. That's actually incredibly useful here. Hey, what did you do this Saturday? Oh, I woke up at 7 a.m. to kill Bandos with my duo group Iron Man partner. Like... <laughs> The poggers, dude. God. It's definitely not. Ow! Band. Oh, okay. God. I definitely clicked a whole game tick before that happened, but I don't want to talk about it. God damn it, dude. I have absolutely like absolutely massacred mil. by all the minions. Just, just, just believe in yourself. Oh my god, I can't get another book, dude. I don't have any Bandos items. Uh, I have a Bandos full film I can give you. Okay. Coins! Wowie! Alright, it's gonna be the fastest trade in the go, West, right? Go, 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 go. go. I hit follow. Uh, no, okay, too, we can still pull this like, off. We can still pull this off. Okay, okay, okay. Spotty, spotty. Your mom's funny. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck does that even mean? I don't want to tell you. He gave you the long boy. Oh. That's going in the video. Bandos, it's so long. <laughs> so we've done a couple of trips now, and it seems like the kills are about 50 50. Uh, Shelby gets about half because he's got a slightly better weapon than me, and I get about half just because I'm getting more hits in and have slightly higher strength. So. We've been getting four to five kill trips. Not terrible. It's uh, it's definitely better than expected. So this is probably about half the kills per hour as Zami. Wait, I got a long bone getting KC. Wait, what? Hold up. <laughs> Wait a minute. No, you did not. From what? <laughs> my mic. Drop a car my mic was that. muted. <laughs> you could just have me being like, what? <laughs> my mic was muted and I got a curved bone. Oh. <laughs> Professional content uh, creators here at this house, by the way. Yep. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> ah, let's go, baby. <laughs> what is Woo! that? What is that? Why they drop that? Like, what the hell? Whoa, yeah. 50 <clears throat> KC at General Grardor. Oh my God, hard combat task. Woo. I'm not, I'm not making the joke again. <laughs> <laughs> Whiskey, I have drink. <laughs> Your ass, I did grab. Find me, you would not. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, I need a ticky. <laughs> oh, you me. No, no, come on. No, I'm dead. Oh, you died? Uh, I got out with two health. <laughs> oh, I should have died like three times. <sighs> well, didn't see that one coming, but that is 87 hit points at uh, General Grador. Not exactly the place I expected to get it. You gotta joust yeah, him. You gotta run from back here, and then you just like, see, look at that. Hey. It works every time. Bit of a change of pace. We stopped Bandos for the night, and I woke up a little bit early the next day, so I decided to go back to doing some smithing. Now, this is the method that I was talking about. This is a commonly used method by Ultimate Iron Men, and I want to try it out. Basically, what you do is you hop to a non-blast furnace world, buy two inventories of coal, one inventory of mithril, and then hop to the blast furnace world just long enough for them to be made into bars. And then you can take the bars, smith them on the anvils back there, and alk the stuff you smith. Supposedly, by doing this, you can actually profit. Although, I don't know how well it's going to go since I don't have the level to make mithril plate bodies yet. And I'm going to be doing it with mithril chains, which is probably going to be a lot worse. I'm doing this instead of gold ore right now, and if it works, that'll be great because it'll save me a ton of money and a lot of annoyance hopping worlds. I think I'm just going to put this earth rune here. I know it seems really random, but this way I'm always just going to have 24 ore and nothing's ever going to get messed up. Because I'm making something that requires three bars each right now, so 24 means I can make eight. Just works out a little bit better this way. All right, so I did this for a little bit, and uh, turns out I just hate it, and it's really, really slow. I think it just gets a lot better at 67 because you can make mithril plate bodies at 67. So realizing that I'm probably not doing Zolar, actually 68, not even 67, so realizing I'm probably not going to be doing Zora for a little bit, I don't need the money for construction just yet. And if Shelby is going to be making money through Slayer, I can probably afford to spend some here. Maybe? I don't know. So even though I was getting pretty bad XP doing the Mithril Chains, it was at least constant XP. 
The thing about buying the gold ore is there's a long time here where you're just hopping worlds looking to buy the stuff, which obviously gets you no XP, so maybe the mithril isn't as bad as I thought. Alright, there's 68 smithing. I bought, a, like, a lot of gold ore, but it, it was enough for me to get 68, which means I can now make mithril plate buys. So the mithril method might be worth doing now. I'm hoping it is. It might seem, like, incredibly minor, but I found out that you don't actually have to stay on the blast furnace world to collect your bars. And this might sound, like, incredibly obvious to people who have done this method before, but I just have to hop here for literally a second. Then I get the XP drop and can immediately hop back out and collect the bars on another world. I'm actually kind of enjoying this with the Mithril Plate Bodies. It's only making five of them, which means it's a lot less to make, a lot less to alk. And I can definitely see why doing this with chains was a hell of a lot worse. That last Plate Body is going to get me 70 smithing, which is what I need for Adamant. And I'm pretty sure one of the quests, I don't even remember which one that I wanted to do. At this point also i feel really bad if this guy was talking to me i'm sorry thank you for the compliment but we just totaled up our cases and between my 78 and the kills that shelby has which is actually a lot more than he had when we were doing zami because you know he gets more kills here we are technically past the drop rate for any non-specific banos item so uh i guess we're not spooned here either a little unfortunate the spoon will come eventually that's what i keep telling myself no, you're going to heal on like a 14. Or a 2. <laughs> I hate, I hate nothing <laughs> so much. Oh, wait, is this my kill? Gonna... Uh, you know 100 it's a... KC. Woo! Congrats, Dad. Uh, it's kind of cool. Actually, is, pretty cool. Actually, it's kind of cool hitting 100 KC at Bandos. You know, it'd be a lot cooler um, if I had something to show for it. You have me. I do have you. <laughs> Love you, Shelby. Well, we're up to a collective about 155 KC right now, which isn't necessarily insanely dry or anything. Just really hope that we get something soon so we can move on to bigger and better things. At Jagex Support, please tell me my account's been live. <laughs> Whoa, okay. I'm at 150 kills. All right, so I'm going to be honest here. Shelby and I have been talking for a long time. I'm 150 KC. He's like 60 KC. We're actually pretty dry at this point. And it's seeming like God Wars is telling us Hey, do something else. So we're considering it. All right, well, with that trip over, um, do you want to do, like, something else? Yeah.